Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve integration problem by partial fraction. So here, everything is in terms of e power x. So let us take t equal to e power x substitution. From this, we can find dt that is also e power x into dx. And we find e power x into dx in the numerator. So we will replace everything in terms of t. So integral dt by 2 plus t and the other term is 4 plus e power 2x. e power 2x is actually e power x whole square. So this will become t square. Now we have to apply the partial fraction rule. So let's take the expression along 1 by t plus 2 and another factor is t square plus 4. So we have a quadratic expression which is non-factorizable. We already discussed the three rules of the partial fraction in the previous video. Now we are going to apply the last rule where the linear factor x minus a we write as a by x minus a and the quadratic factor we write bx plus c by x square plus bx plus c. So here the linear term is t plus 2. So a by t plus 2. Now another one b t plus plus c by non-factorizable quadratic factor t square plus 4. Now we take LCM. So LCM is both the factor t plus 2 into t square plus 4. Now a into this is t square plus 4 plus b t plus c into t plus 2. Since both the sides we have same denominator, we are going to equate the numerator. So 1 equal to this entire numerator. Now we have to take value for t. Let me take the first value minus 2 to find the value of a, b and c. When we substitute t as minus 2, so here a into minus 2 whole square is 4, 4 plus 4, 8. And here when I put minus 2, the entire term is 0. So and here on the other side we have 1. So 1 is equal to 8a. It means the value of a from this is 1 by 8. Now let's take t as 0. So t is 0. So 1 is equal to this will become 4a. And when this is 0 we left with only c and when this is 0 we left with only 2. So 2c. We already know the value of a. So 4 by 8 plus 2c and we can cancel this which is 1 by 2 plus 2c and 1 by 2 we can take to the other side and subtract. So 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 2c. After taking LCM and subtraction 1 by 2 equal to 2c and by taking the 2 here we get the value of c as 1 by 4. So till now we got two values. One is the value of a other is the value of c. For finding another value, we cannot take any other factor to make some term 0. So let's compare the coefficient of t square on both the sides. So equating coefficient of t square on both sides. So this side there is no t square and here it is a and here it is b. So 0 equal to a plus b already we found the value of a is 1 by 8 by substituting the value of 1 by 8 we get 0 equal to 1 by 8 plus b so b equal to minus 1 by 8 so we got the three values a b and c all these three we have to substitute in the term where we applied the partial fraction rule so a by t plus 2. So 1 by 8 by t plus 2 integral dt plus b is minus 1 by 8. So minus 1 by 8 plus c. c is 1 by 4. So minus 1 by 8 t plus 1 by 4 whole divided by denominator is t square plus 4. So t square plus 4 into 
dt. Now we have to split this into two parts. So first term is as it is 1 by 8 is constant. If we can take it outside, it's integral dt by t plus 2. Now minus 1 by 8 integral t by t square plus 4 dt and 1 by 4 integral dt by t square plus 4. Now let's take each part separately i1, i2 and i3. Now coming to i1 it is nothing but 1 by 8 log mod t plus 2 and the value of t in the starting we took it as e power x. So this will become 1 by 8 log mod e power x plus 2 plus c1. Then i2. i2 we have to give substitution. Let's take the denominator term as u. Let u equal to t square plus 4 and du is 2t dt. This 2 we can take to the denominator that is du by 2 equal to t dt because in the numerator we have t into dt and outside we have minus 1 by 8. So minus 1 by 8 integral du by 2 divided by u because the entire denominator we have taken as u. So minus 1 by 16 because 1 by 2 we can take out. Now integral du by u which is log u. So minus 1 by 16 log u plus c2 but u is t square plus 4 but once again t is e power x so minus 1 by 16 log mod e power x whole square is e power 2x plus 4 plus c2 and the last term we have to rewrite this as t square plus 2 square so we have i3 outside there is 1 by 4 integral dt by t square plus 2 square and this formula is integral dx by x square plus a square which is 1 by a tan inverse x by a plus c. So instead of x we have t and instead of a we have 2. So 1 by 4 which is already there outside 1 by a a is 2 tan inverse x by a but x we have to put t t by 2 plus constant c3. We have to replace t so totally outside we have 1 by 8 tan inverse e power x by 2 plus c3. Now we are going to combine everything. So i equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3. So i equal to first term is 1 by 8 log mod. Let's see the term here. e power x plus 2 plus c1. So e power x plus 2 plus c1 we will combine as a constant c at the end. Then i2. For i2 we have minus 1 by 16. Because only b value is minus 1 by 8. So we substituted here and we took common. After the substitution we also had 1 by 2. So finally minus 1 by 16 log mod. So directly we put minus sign here. Minus 1 by 16 log mod and the term is e power 2x plus 4. e power 2x plus 4. Then coming to the third term i3 which is 1 by 8 tan was e power x by 2. So plus 1 by 8 tan inverse e power x by 2. 
and all the constants C1, C2, and C3 is combined as a single constant C.